Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back once again, it is day 33 or 34, I think it's 33, of one hour limit locked here, I've been waiting all day long, literally all day long, for the worlds to get quiet enough, because I have had arms day on smash recently, let me tell you, arms day, has not been a problem, but leg day, we have been skipping out on, and today, I want to focus on leg day. So, I've been waiting until the worlds are relatively quiet, which this is about as good as it's going to get. I think it's quarter to 3am on a Monday, oh, well, I suppose on a Tuesday morning. So it's a random ass time. Yeah, the episode is probably coming out late because of it, but... I never have a strict time schedule anyway, I just post these fuckers as soon as they're done. Quick checks of as we run past to make sure our teaks are okay. All looks good. Nice nest hall today. Okay, we're going straight to the GE because I am buying some Renar seeds. Renar's back on top, so Renar seeds are a go. I'm gonna get, I think I'm just gonna get like quite a lot while the price is decent. Perfect, so that's beautiful. Okay, we've still got two mil left over, so it's not even like we are short on cash. Let's go walk this farm run out now. So yeah, I'm only gonna do the one birdhouse run today. I'm not gonna be going back to burbs. As soon as we finish this fire farming run, we're gonna do our, our staffs as well, and then sell everything on the GE, and then we are hightailing it to the wilderness agility course. Really need to top that compost up. I've got it in the bank, I just need to bring it with me. In fact, why don't we just go to Castle Walls and grab it? So we'll just keep forgetting otherwise. Yeah, we're gonna be paying the 150k entrance fee, and Pray that we do not get harassed by any nasty, horrible little PKers. I feel kind of sad because I don't think, I mean, it's very unlikely at a random world, at a random time, at a random day, a week later, that Zuck's peen is going to still be there to protect us. I felt safe around Zuck's peen. I don't know what it was. They just, they, they made me feel safe. They had that aura about them. Without Zuck's peen, I don't know if I'm going to be as safe in the wilderness. But those are the sorts of risks we simply have to take on one hour limit locked. Oh, we just got 48 farming. Well, we were on the way to 50 anyway with the teak trees. But always nice have the extra level, so not complaining at all about that. I forgot we had that clue step as well. It's not going to be today because I want to spend as much time as I possibly can. That's a shame we got a dead one. Got to spend as much time as possible at the wilderness course to get our value out of paying the entrance fee. Quick stop at the staff shop. Lovely stuff. Banking at everything. We are getting ourselves these boots and our black dehyde. Let's bring a wealth so we just have a teleport to get out of there. I don't need the food, obviously. Oh, I wanted some summer pies to go. And let's just get a couple more teleports as well. Come on, I can't get either. I suppose it's a weird time of day, so did that to myself. Alright, cool. Got everything we need. All right, no more time waste. Open and a praying we don't see a soul. Ooh, 
There is someone here. That's okay. It's only lentil loaf. I'm sure they mean no harm. Alright, I'm gonna do my best to not make any fuck-ups today, because last time it was awful. It was bloody awful. I was messing up all over the shop. I don't think I want to use preserve, because we're gonna be here for an entire trip. All being well. Hopefully, this is a very uninteresting hour. Might not make the most varied content, but it is different from punching Sulfur Nagua. So, I'm fairly content to just sort of sit back and keep doing this. And fingers crossed, I don't have anything crazy to report. Oh, we got medium clue. I guess wearing the wealth might make that more likely. Okay, that guy is leaving apparently. We've stood there for quite a long time. I hope he's not off to log on to a different account to come and kill me. I feel like I've had much better loot rolls today than last time. I don't, it's really hard to tell because you don't get to look at your loot for very long because of all the skeletons on you constantly. But I feel like I've had a lot of blighted supers and adamant rather than myth. I think I'm about to die to ice worms. Uh, F for that guy? I guess it could be like a scout thing or something. Is it? Everything's making me so nervous. Okay, that was the 15th flap. Everyone from this point to 30 should be twice as much value. Going from our, an expected value of 10k per lap to 20k per lap. The, I believe the price is closer to like, I don't know, a 7 14 maybe. It's meant to go up by 10k each time, but it's more like 7k because the prices aren't great on blighted shit at the minute. Unless I just got like really bad RNG last time. I'm not sure where I fell there. I think it was on this, so I'm gonna go back. Yeah, we didn't make it past this bracket last time. The third bracket is 31 to 60, so I, I very I don't think it's even possible for us to pass 60 on one hour limit locked. It would be in here about 12 minutes, I think, and done 17, but 12 minutes is just a complete guess. Oh, what time we actually got here? Apparently, we've got 178k in our looting bag at the minute, so we're in the green. I'll just keep failing this one trap, apparently, on this run. It's four times in a row I've failed this swing. Whee! Nobody thought I could do it, but I did. I proved them all wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just boosted. What's going on? There's 55 agility coming in. Just one more level till we can do regicide. Which I believe is on my to-do list, given the fact that it comes with an agility experience reward. Ooh, now that I've got a blighted super restore in my invent, I think putting preserve on only makes sense. I mean, I could have got one earlier if I'd just kept an invent slot every time I was over there. But now I actually have one here, it just makes sense, doesn't it? Make the most out of these summer pies. I have really been paying attention to the loot on the last laps. I've just been failing so much, I don't know why. Hey, oops, is that the same guy as before? I think it is. Oh, we just got a rune chain body on that run. Two blighted restores. Backs up to 250k? It's not looking bad at the minute. If if we get everything home safe, it's looking like a decent day. Well, that was 30 laps. We are now in the third loot table out of four. So the second best one. For us, I think it is pretty much the best one. Because the next one is after lap 60 and we only just managed to get 30 laps done. Even if we did another 30, we might get one lap. I don't know. Do you think we can do it, y'all? Do you think I can break 60 laps? I would have to have really good rates of not failing to get it done. That is our first one on the new three super stars. And an Addy plate, about 25k worth. Super stars, roughly 5k a pop, 4.6, but whatever. Wait, I, did I do something wrong? No! I forgot to repeat the rope swing, that was my first fuck up. And I was talking. Bollocks. 
I'm gonna sip this and draw a hyper and well, I definitely don't think we're gonna get the uh, 60 laps now with that failure. Okay, it's not accurate, but I now see my uh, looting bag at all after checking it. It's 374 and then it says 379. I don't know why it's like counting differently on the inside to the outside, but maybe it's just some weird rounded error. Got a room kite shell that time. Should be a, a decent bit. Yeah, for some reason this is 5k over. Showing me 5k more than it actually is. I can't figure it out. Another room kite? We're making money here, y'all. I'm actually uh pretty pretty happy with how this is going as long as we don't get slapped in the face. But like even if we do, I feel like we've got pretty good means to escape. We've got the the black D hide to protect us from mage users trying to snare us or freeze us. Like we've got a little bit of extra defense against that, and we've got prayer and food out the wazoo, plus extra run energy from the summer flies if I really need it to outrun someone. I feel like even if we do get caught, there's a fair chance we might be able to get away as long as we don't just get blown out of the water by someone logging in next to us with D claws that we for some reason didn't pay any attention to. Can never get complacent, but what happened to the other guy? Is he gone? Didn't see him leave. Maybe he's not paying the fee. Because he's been in and out a few times and that doesn't feel like it's worth it if you're paying the fee. And he was low health after failing, so it's like he's not getting the food back. Man, the higher this bag ticks up, the more nervous I get. <sighs> it is looking juicy right now. Part of me is just like, get out, get out. But we gotta get our value out of as much time as we can. I just still want to overstay my welcome. <laughs> There is the 56 agility we need for regicide. We can now do that quest. I swear to god my anxiety levels are at such a high right now. This hour has gone so quick. It's just flown right by and as stressful as it is, the fact that there's a way to make agility training fly by is astounding to me. Honestly, I think Jagex need to be congratulated on this one. I might not have said that when it first came out because the place was swarming with PKs, but now that it is quieting down, the wilderness agility course is where you want to fucking be, especially at this sort of level where you've just got access to it. Look at that six blighted supers from that one. That's crazy. I don't know if I'm going to manage, but if I can get 58 tickets, then that will put me on 101 exactly which is the final boundary for XP from tickets. Then you get more the more you hand in at once. 101 is the, the highest multiplier, so I could happily turn them in at any point then for a bunch of bonus XP. But if I keep failing like that, then it's not gonna happen. All right, folks, we're getting down to the wire here. There are two minutes left on the clock. This is the very last lap. And then I'm going to get my ass the hell out of here and pray that I can get myself to safety before the time limit is up because I am leaving it right to the edge here. But I wanted to get those 58 tickets. That failure is not good. Okay, please don't fail here. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, as soon as we tag it, we're out of here. Okay. Hands hovering over the hop key. The way in combat at the minute, thanks to the, that. So hopefully we can get out of it. Oh, thank fuck we're safe. Thank fuck. Holy, holy. Right, let me uh, just get this into a tab so I can see it. I've got to see it. We can take that glory out of the tab. This is this is gonna be quite something. Look at all that money we just made. Take off 170k for the entry fee, summer pies, and teleport. 
and we're left with about 700k profit, which is wild. I was not expecting to make that much money. I am very pleased with how today has gone. Not only did we make a shit ton of money, we also got a decent amount of agility XP. We got two levels up to 56, which means we can do regicide now for its experience reward. I can't remember how much it is, but we can check very easily with Quest Helper by just opening it up. Yeah, we can get an extra 13k agility experience from completing regicide. Oh my god, I can't wait to get that on the GE tomorrow. We, we also have the tickets which 101 of you're looking at 230 xp per ticket that's an extra 23k so that added on to the what did i say regicide was 13.7 we've got about 37,000 more xp all right we should get up to about level 58 from doing regicide and handing these in which is nice That'll mean, I think 62 is our goal for uh, Beneath Curse Sands. Again, we can check it very quickly by just looking in Quest Helper. But yeah, 62 agility is what we need to get this quest done and get into raids. So, making solid progress to be at 56 and on the way to 58 with just a quest and turning these in, which we can literally do at any point. Very, very nice day. Oh, I'm pumped. We made so much money. Oh, look at all the money we made. Oh, I'm, I'm genuinely gobsmacked. I did not think it was going to be that lucrative after the first day being kind of meh, but it, it certainly paid off today. Yeah, you can't get mad at that, can you? That is a solid, solid day. All right, I'm going to stop orgasming over my loot. Hopefully, you all had fun watching the chaos today in the wilderness as I shot myself for pretty much the full hour. I'm going to go and let some adrenaline out. It's quarter to four, almost 420, but I think I need another splash before 420. So let me go calm myself the hell down before I get to editing uh, this motherfucker and getting it out for y'all. Hit the like button if you enjoy the content. It helps out a ton, honestly, it really does. And the subscribe button as well was the two best ways to support me. Like and subscribe and leaving a comment down below. Letting me know how, how, how are you feeling about that? That feels pretty good, right? I just made like 700k in about 45 minutes of agility training. Someone tell me I'm smoking crack, because I feel like I'm smoking crack. Crack aside, look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.